Hey, it's Greg with the Brian Conrad team right here in Central Valley, California. And if you own a home in this area, you're going to love this information. We're going to talk about not only how to sell your house, but potentially sell it for more than you even thought it was worth. Now, I have on the call with me here, Brian. How are you doing today, Brian? I'm doing great. Good, good. Glad to see you. I know the market is crazy hot right now, so you are incredibly yep. busy. Um, with me being on your marketing team, we're seeing a lot of great results, not only for the homeowners you work with, but also helping them in finding the next home they move to. And I wanted to kind of talk about both. Um, you know, you've got a, a very, very good system here for doing that. Tell us a little bit about yourself, first of all. What areas do you like to serve? So uh, we're in the Central Valley area of California, and we stretch, um, we've helped clients all the way from Sacramento to Modesto, and then, you know, from the East Bay up into the foothills too. So, so it's kind of a large stretch of uh, area, but um, we're based out of Lodi, California. That's where our offices are. Yeah, no question. You put a lot of miles on the car as a real estate agent, right? <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Well, you're definitely doing a great job here on selling homes at top dollar. I think a lot of people mistakenly think you can list with anyone and get top dollar for your home your target marketing approach is really bringing more money to the bottom line. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that. I've actually prepared a couple of slides that I think everyone will find very helpful. Whether you're selling your house now or three or four years in the future, I think you'll find this incredibly insightful on how you can sell for more money and find your next dream home for yourself as well. So without further ado, let me grab those slides right now. Okay, so you should see my screen here. And obviously what we're gonna talk about is how you can sell your home for possibly more money than you even anticipated. And most importantly, how you can net more from the sale of that property. So I think what you'll find here is this, this real brief presentation is going to be kind of a marketing lesson for you. I think you'll actually learn a lot about how you can expose a product or a service to the most opportune prospects. What we do here with our team is we make sure that we can get your property exposed to the most opportune buyers to sell it for the most amount of money. So that takes a lot more than throwing it on the MLS or you know putting a sign in the yard. I'm gonna show you a targeted marketing approach that works very, very well for us here at our team with all of the homes that we represent. So you know the most important decision you'll ever make here as a homeowner is the agent you will choose to market the home for you. Unfortunately, most owners don't know the criteria to utilize in choosing a real estate agent. So today, we're gonna to show you some important factors to look for when selling your home for more money, trying to net as much as possible. I wanna show you some factors to look for in choosing a real estate agent. And obviously, I wanna show you a couple of things that our team does here that can sell your home for a lot more money. I think you'll find it very exclusive. Nobody else offers this, which is why we're getting these superior results. Uh, you know, there's three common misconceptions when choosing a real estate agent. And I'm going to give you these three here. Number one, a lot of people think that the agents within a brokerage all have the same procedures. So if you go with the most well-known brokerage in town, you can choose any agent there. What you may not know is every single agent is an independent contractor and does anything they want to do. There's zero policies and procedures in place. So a brokerage might literally have the number one agent in town, as well as an agent that hasn't sold a property in a whole year. So there's a big, big difference in the agents that you choose and the brokerage you choose doesn't really matter as much. I think you'll agree if LeBron James changes teams, he's still going to perform at a very high level. Doesn't really matter what team he's with or how well known they are, he's good at what he does. So you wanna make sure you're choosing an agent rather than a brokerage. Number two misconception, is that knowing someone that has a real estate license is a benefit for you or is your best option when selling your home. Just because somebody has a real estate license obviously doesn't mean they're very good at marketing or exposure on that home. And frankly, they may not have the capital needed in order to spend the money required to market that home the right way. And then number three, you should list your home with an agent that gives you the highest quoted price or the lowest discounted commission. Obviously, that usually ends in disaster. We'll talk a little bit about that. So today, I wanna to show you the right way to sell your home fast and for top dollar with the least amount of hassle. And frankly, it has nothing to do with any of these three misconceptions that we've talked about here. So, you know, a lot of people think an agent is an agent. First, every single agent in this state 
has passed the same real estate exam. They all took the same test. Great, they have a license now, right? That gave them the right to be an agent, but certainly doesn't give them the knowledge to be a targeted marketing specialist. Any agent and any brokerage you list with is going to get your home on EMLS. Uh, they're going to get it listed on realtor.com and zillow.com. That happens automatically. It happens through syndication. So the MLS is automatically going to have it go on realtor.com, zillow.com. You'll get in front of all those people. You'll get that from any agent you choose, but it's going to create limited chances of you actually selling your home at all. Uh, or if you do, it might go for regular price or even below the actual market value. Why? Because we haven't exposed it to people that would have a feverish response, people that would be highly motivated to buy your specific type of home. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we do that over the next few minutes here. So this is why you don't want a commodity type agent that's completely replaceable by anyone else that has a license. Uh, you know, because of course you simply, if you just wanna list your home, rather than sell it and sell it at top price, you could go with a commodity agent, anybody that has a real estate license. But you obviously know that asking more won't necessarily get you more for the sale of your home. If you called enough realtors, somebody would tell you they'd sell it for $5 million. You don't wanna list with them, right? The marketing campaign is what's going to create the best quality buyers that are willing to pay a premium. That's what's going to get your price up. So those premium buyers, they're not gonna be found by advertising your home on realtor.com or zillow.com or just any old agent that throws it in the MLS and waits on it to hopefully find a buyer. So you wanna think about who you're actually hiring as a homeowner here, who's going to represent the exposure for your property. As a homeowner, the most important thing to look for is a target marketing specialist. And I want you to write that down, by the way, a target marketing specialist. This is how you get your home exposed to the most opportune buyers, and most importantly, sell that property for more than you ever thought possible. A licensed agent that simply promises you a higher price, but has no empirical data to show you how they'll make that happen, they're not gonna get you your desired results. They need to have an impressive, multimedia marketing approach. And I'm gonna show you that here. So target marketing, a lot of people say, what is target marketing? Target marketing is focusing in on who the most likely buyer will be for your home based on price range, location, school district, uh, amenities of the home, that type of thing. So if we take an example, let's say it's a middle of the road price range here for this area. Uh, it's a four bedroom house has a first floor primary bedroom, but all the other bedrooms are upstairs. Uh, it's in a good school district and it has a fenced yard, okay? Typical America property, okay? Four bedroom, first floor primary, everything else is upstairs, good school district and has a fenced yard. Who is the most likely buyer? Who should we be targeting for that home? Well, we know for sure that it's gonna be somebody that's anywhere from 40 to 55 years old, that has at least two kids of teenage years in the home. They'll have a pet in the home. They're likely in that same school district. They'll have a credit score of 680 or higher, and they're gonna have an annual household income, total household income of at least one third of the purchase price on your home. Now, how do we know that's the case? Because we can go find that list. We can market to that group of people. Well, we know that's the case because anybody that's younger than 40 years old may still be looking to have young children, meaning they won't want their bedroom on a different level as the rest of the bedrooms. They wanna be close to the nursery, right? We know that they're going to have kids of teenage years. They wanna be away from the kids when it comes to sleeping and quiet and that type of thing, right? We know they have to have a credit score of 680 or higher. We know that for qualification purposes, they'll need to make about a third of what the purchase price is. And then we also know that if you have that fenced yard, they'll be willing to pay a premium if they can get their dog in a property that has a fenced yard. So much better for them that way. So what we can do is we can take that information. A professional marketer is going to find out who that opportune buyer is and then create a combination of online and offline marketing. So our team here, we do this by, we start by acquiring the list of the most opportune prospects. We do that through mailing list and marketing list brokers based on the selects that we want. So a select is like 
people with a credit score of 680 or higher, that's one select. People that make $150,000 or more, that's another one. People that have at least two children of teenage years, that's another one we would use. So we'll get them and, and we can narrow that down, clear down to family size, age of the parents, age of the children in the home, household income, uh, their credit score, their hobbies, their interests, uh, how many vehicles they have in the home. Like if you have a three car, four car garage, how many vehicles are registered to them? Uh, watercraft ownership, like if you're on water and maybe they have a boat, that type of thing. We can really narrow this down to find the most opportune prospect for your individual house. And then what we do is we utilize an online and offline approach. So of course you know that the type of property your most likely buyer currently lives in, like where are they moving from? Are they moving from an apartment to a house like yours? Are they moving from a small house up to a house like yours? Are they moving from a larger house and moving down? Maybe it's empty nesters, probably, uh, possibly even a divorce situation where they would be downsizing in a home. We want to find out what's going to be the most opportune prospect so we can market directly to them. And then what we do is we can use these acquired contacts for everything from postcard campaigns to specific sales letter offers mailed to the prospects all the way to specifically targeting those prospects on their Facebook page. So we do a lot of online marketing where we can get that list of everybody that lives in a neighborhood, say a move up neighborhood, where they would be moving up to your price range. We can market to all of them on their individual Facebook page through a targeted marketing approach. So we can do that like as an example, Facebook custom audience. Uh, so this is a marketing approach that's used on Facebook. It's not social by any means. It's a real marketing approach where we can utilize all of our data to get specific ads for your house in front of those most opportune buyers directly on their Facebook page, which is currently selling thousands of homes all over the country, by the way. This targeted approach with Facebook custom audience is selling lots and lots of homes. And it only goes out to those that are most likely to be interested, meaning it's truly targeted marketing, not social marketing. So we invest a great deal of marketing dollars into custom audience, which is a Facebook approach that we can utilize. So whether it be uh, postcard campaigns or mailing campaigns or going to the online versions, we cover all of those bases so we can get the maximum number of buyers interested in the home, thus driving up the price, creating that feeding frenzy that we're always looking for where you win because people are fighting over your property and they're willing to pay a premium. And those targeted lists are readily available. As an example, if you've ever been at your house and you go check the mail and here's a postcard from the local car dealership and it says, uh, we see that you have a 2019 Mazda and we have a shortage of Mazdas right now. We'd, we'd give you a premium price if you'll trade in your car here. Well, I'm sure you know that the guy that lives next door to you that drives a Toyota got the same postcard saying they need a Toyota. They acquired a list of which cars are located at each property and they have a variable data print that goes out and puts that information in. That's a targeted marketing approach. So you speak directly to those people about something that's important to them. So we do a lot of targeted marketing that way to match up who's the best buyer for your property. Uh, again, going back to the online version, Facebook custom audience is a perfect example of us getting to them where they're at every day, where they're camping out every day. Now, another option with Facebook is called Facebook Marketplace. This is like their online classified section. So local home buyers and especially relocation buyers, because you already know we have a lot of relocation buyers that move to this area too. So relocation buyers are searching online at the newer sources like Facebook Marketplace. Again, that's their classified section. So, uh, you know, maybe they live in uh, Boise, Idaho or Denver, Colorado or wherever they're moving from to move to this area here. And what we're finding is they're, they're very interested in local happenings and what's going on there. So they go to Facebook Marketplace. If they click on homes for sale, we make sure that your home is featured there. 
Okay, so marketplace as well as other online classified style locations, Craigslist, that type of thing. We make sure we have maximum exposure there because the buyers are frequently shopping there. We have to go where they're looking. Recent stats show that 98% of home buyers shop online, literally 98 of 100. So whoever has the best online presence outside of the typical syndicated websites, which everybody does, what if you can use a targeted approach and you can go after the most opportune prospects? So Facebook Marketplace is a really good way for us to do that as well. And then more importantly, doing targeted online marketing with what's called retargeting. So if you've ever, let's say you were online and you were shopping for shoes and you ended up not buying those shoes, every website you went to after that showed those shoes for 10% off, that's called a retargeting approach. So most agents have no idea how to do this or they don't have a large enough team. You know, frankly, a lot of real estate agents are independent all by themselves. They're a one person operation. They don't have a marketing department like us and that type of thing. So most agents don't have a large enough team or marketing department to follow up with the leads appropriately. If we expose your property to 500 potential buyers here in the area and we find that 110 of them clicked on it, went through the photos, showed some type of interest, spent some time there. How do you remarket to those people? Because I think we can all agree that buying a home is a process, not an event. They don't just wake up today and say, let's buy a house. It's a process they go through. So they think about this, they research, they do their due diligence for quite a while. So there will be home buyers interested in your house that don't initially take action. What we do here with our team is we retarget them with useful and helpful information to keep your home directly in front of them. Again, jacking up our price, jacking up the interest in the area because we can create more demand through marketing. Now, another approach that works really well, if we switch to the offline method, another approach that we've been having very good success with here locally is what's called specific EDDM campaigns. So let me give you that again, EDDM, that's Every Door Direct Mail. So our US Postal Service, they offer an outstanding program called Every Door Direct Mail. The way that works is it's designed like for your local dry cleaners, for the ice cream shop down the road here, so that if they wanna go to your neighborhood, they can get marketing out at a decent price, a decent fee, it's not too expensive, but it goes to every single homeowner on that mail carrier's route that day. So as an example, if we wanted to market your house to an apartment complex that's very high end rent, uh, to a move up neighborhood where maybe they'd be selling their smaller home and moving to yours. So anybody we wanna market to, we can market specifically to everybody in that area using that EDDM campaign. Most agents don't offer this because it is very expensive on their part from a marketing perspective, but we invest the money because it works to get you bigger results to sell the property for more money in the long run. So we do invest that money to market our properties at a high, high level. So if we're to accept the project and work with you on your home, you can expect to get some superior marketing to get it in front of the right eyeballs, the right families that are interested in buying your house. So what we can do with EDDM is we can choose the neighborhood that buyers will most likely come from, regardless if it's single family homes, condos, apartments, whatever the case is, uh, even from luxury neighborhoods where maybe they'd be moving down. People that are moving up or moving down in price range, maybe they're in the same school district. We can utilize our data to find who the most opportune buyer is and get directly in front of them in their mailbox with a specific marketing campaign centered around your house. So we choose the best communities to market your home to and then we do that targeted campaign that can create some very big results for you here. And of course, we haven't seen your home yet, right? So uh, with every listing that our team takes on here, we build a complete customized marketing campaign which combines online and offline approaches to get that home in front of the maximum number of the most opportune buyer. So, you know, you've got to think about uh, a lot of times as a real estate agent, you know, our team is thinking about what type of homes we want to accept at that time. We don't accept all projects. If we can't meet your needs, uh, of course, we'd rather turn you down now than let you down later. 
So uh, a lot of times the homeowners are shocked how much we can sell their home for. We hear that a lot. But if we can't meet your needs, we're going to let you know that. Okay, so as you can imagine, with the amount of money that our team invests into marketing, we're very selective on the projects that we will take on. Unique properties are often the most fun to market to, uh, which we love working unique properties, by the way. If there's anything special about your home, we love working those kinds of deals because uh, we can use that target marketing to find the best, uh, the best buyers for that home. As an example, uh, we've sold a couple of horse farms and obviously horse farms are very unique that way. Uh, we acquired list from the local feed and ag store right? Like a tractor supply and market directly to them and sell that, you know, sell the property to those people. Why? Because they needed horses, uh, a place for their horses. So uh, a target marketing or special unique properties, whatever it is, waterfront, golf course, anything in the world, we can target them and do very, very well with it. And of course, every house and every situation is unique. So we customize everything we do to get your home sold. First step is obviously take a look at the property, give you some ideas on who it should be marketed to so you can sell your home for possibly more than even you anticipated. So just by watching this quick video here, uh, our team here is able to show you a couple of little techniques uh, or, or trade secrets that will help you to net more from the sale of your home. Now another big benefit uh, is pre-market matches. So what we do, since we have such a, a large team and marketing exposure here, we have a large number of active buyers that are looking right now. Since we do so much advertising, we always have a large list of highly motivated buyers that are looking for specific types of homes. So there's a good chance that we can match your home up to some of the active buyers in the area with what we call a pre-market scenario. So that can sometimes raise the price even higher and eliminate the need for a full listing campaign. So we might wanna look at some pre-market matches that would make this process even easier for you as a homeowner. And of course, they're willing to pay a premium to keep it from hitting the open market. So we would look at that as well. And of course, every single situation is different. Uh, we'd have to take a look at that and uh, taking a walkthrough of the property. And you know that's really the the beauty of having a team here for you. You get everybody for the price of one. The big advantage for you is hiring a professional team with a marketing department is a tremendous advantage for you as opposed to hiring a single agent with limited time, uh, limited marketing knowledge, and limited advertising budget. Results are all that matter to you, and it's crucial to get the most bang for your buck on the sale of the largest asset you likely own. So the big advantage for you is hiring a professional team that has an individual marketing department designed specifically around making sure your home is exposed to the best quality buyers, not just throwing it on the MLS. So when you're choosing an agent, your number one goal as a home seller is very simple. Find the agent that can make your home stand out as opposed to all of the other competing homes on the market. Okay, so we're not talking about, are you with the top company? Have you ever sold a home in this neighborhood? Uh, how cheap can I get your commission? All of that stuff does nothing for you actually netting more from the sale of your home. And let's be honest, the only thing you care about is can you do this hassle-free and net as much as possible? So you've got to think about on your house, how can it be featured as the best opportunity in town? How can it get in front of more of the most opportune prospects? That's what target marketing and massive exposure can do for you here. So you want to think about and getting the best results, are you getting the best result possible? So choosing the best agent is crucial to your success. And, you know, I've always said cost is only a factor in the absence of value, right? So if you're looking for a commodity agent and you're okay with months and months on the market or dozens of the wrong type of people walking through your house over the next few days, any discount agent will do for you. But to get more money and less time with the perfect buyer, you want to use a competent professional. And then, of course, and choosing the best, choose the agent first, and then choose the program that's best for you. See, once you've chosen the best agent, uh, you do that first, then you decide on the services 
that you feel are going to be most important for you. So here with our team, uh, we have what we call our menu of services. We offer a good, better, or best model for our fees as well as the services that we provide. So if you're cost sensitive, you wanna keep it low, that's an option for you. If you wanna make sure you can sell the home for a higher price, that's an option for you as well. We can do it any way that you want. Choose the best agent first, then you choose their services based on good, better, or best. So what happens is when we take a quick tour of your property, we can sit down, show you some options and give you some advice on what we would, would recommend for your specific individual house. Okay, so you'll get to see our menu of services, which breaks down all options on our fees, as well as uh, the target marketing that we do. So you can see how this is superior to frankly, anybody else you would interview in town here. Okay, so uh, we have a real simple basic three-step approach. Let me show you what that is, uh, and then we'll go back to our video here. So um, we have a very basic three-step approach. Number one, we have a totally free phone consultation to discuss your options and any questions you have. It's totally free, no obligation at all. You'll see our number on here. Uh, I'll turn our webcams back on in a second here, uh, but it's a totally free phone consultation just for you to gather some information and see if it makes sense for you. Step number two is we'll take a walkthrough of the home to determine condition and marketability. Now at that time, we'll sit down to discuss options that you have available to you, and then you can kind of decide from there what you'd like to do. And then step three is we'll discuss how we can push your sale price higher and go over the marketing campaign options so that you can look at all of the costs, all of the expenses, what your total net number will be. So very simple three-step approach, phone call, walk through, go over the numbers. You can then make an educated decision. You're never obligated along the way and it's totally free for every bit of that. Do the phone call, do the walkthrough, get lots of awesome advice and then see what your final numbers will look like. I think you're going to find it to be incredibly helpful for you that way. So what I'd encourage you to do is to uh, give us a call or a text here. Uh, again, I'll put our number up. Uh, shoot us a text message or give us a call. Uh, we'll put it up here for you to get in touch with us. As an educated homeowner and as a smart consumer, I want you to be educated. I want you to know what we can do for you here and help you every step of the way when it comes to selling your home and making sure you do it the right way. We'd love to provide you with some helpful advice. Uh, answer all of your questions and consider the possibility of accepting your project here to get you sold for absolute top dollar. So my encouragement for you today, we would absolutely encourage you to be very selective on the agent that you choose. Okay, timing comes into play, where you're going to move to comes into play, how effective their marketing is and finding your next place, if you need your agent to help you in finding your next place, and then timing all of that correctly, you get all of that on the free call. So let's just have a casual conversation. We'll bring up some things that maybe you never even thought of that will help you along the way with making a decision. Do you even want to make a move right now? So you'll wanna base your decision on the marketing and exposure that can be provided, and then can that agent competently uh, navigate this entire process for you for the sale of your home and possibly for the acquisition of your next house as well. Uh, we have a lot of unlisted properties here in the area. We have what we call a dream home finder program, where even if you think the home you wanna to move to doesn't exist, we can actually find that for you, and we do that for all the homeowners we're working with that are looking to move to that special house. So the homeowner that doesn't know what to look for in choosing a real estate agent, they'll naturally look for someone that is cheap or is related to them or they know them from work or something like that. Sometimes they'll even look for someone that has uh, sold a house in the same neighborhood before, which obviously makes no sense whatsoever. That has nothing to do with exposing your property to the most opportune buyers. Uh, so, you know, my encouragement for you is to remember when you're hiring a real estate agent, you're hiring a marketing specialist, not just someone that puts it on the MLS and fills in the blanks on the state purchase contract. Anybody can do that. That is of no use to you 
if they can't find a buyer willing to pay a premium fee for you to sell your home. I mean, you know, the, the sad part about this is if you go with a commodity type realtor, the only way a buyer buys your home is if it's the absolute best value compared to all of the other homes in the same price range, which means you need to be priced under them. Well, that's a bad way to go. You don't wanna beat the competition by pricing under them. The only way the buyer will go with you is if they can't find anything else that's a lower price or a better uh, property for their money. What if we could actually expose it to the right people? This might even be the only home that they look at. So it's of no use to you to have a, a lower cost agent or somebody you know if they can't get it in front of buyers willing to pay a premium fee because this is the home that they have to have. So that's what a targeted marketing specialist can do for you and that's what you'll get when you hire our team here. If you decide you wanna work with us and we agree to accept that project, this can be an awesome opportunity for you and not only selling your home for top dollar, but if you are moving to another house, finding that perfect property that way, okay? So what we do, I'd love to have our team take a look at your home here. I'm gonna jump back onto a video here so we can kind of chat for just another moment here. But step one is for us to stop out and take a quick look at the home. At that time, we'll give you some ideas on the custom marketing campaigns that we put in place for your individual property. And we believe you'll find that this is by far the best option at the most affordable rate to net more from the sale of your home. And obviously that's the key factor for you here. So that's my little spiel here. Uh, let me jump back to our video. A couple more things I wanted to share with you here. Just one second. All right, so as you can see, that's a target marketing approach that can sell your home for a lot more money. If we can create enough interest in your house, there's a good chance we can have multiple offers, meaning your home may even sell over asking price. Now, this does come with a problem. And if you're looking at homes here in the Central Valley area, you're familiar with this problem. There's not much available. As a matter of fact, if you're looking on Realtor.com or Zillow.com thinking, where would I move to if I did sell my house? You're probably not finding many homes and you might make the mistake of thinking you'll just stay where you are for a couple of years. That could be devastating because we're at a peak right now. You want to sell your home when you're at a peak. So Brian has created a program here called the Dream Home Finder approach. And essentially the way the Dream Home Finder works, I'm sure you're aware, the best homes never make it to the open market. You can look tomorrow, six months from now or a year from now, the best homes are never on the open market. So we can get you access to unlisted houses or what we call pre-market homes long before they're on the open MLS. Essentially what happens is if we find out what you're looking for, area, price range, school district, we can go out and spend our own marketing dollars to find homeowners that are willing to sell their house, but they're not yet on the open market. So you're the first buyer to know that they're for sale. So Brian, tell us a little bit about the Dream Home Finder and exactly how that works. Well, we were just frustrated um, with our clients because they were writing multiple offers and, and trying to find homes on the MLS. They were getting beaten out. So um, we decided to, to come up with this idea and try to get to these homes before they get on the MLS. So if you reach out to us, um, we'll get your information and find out exactly what you're looking for. And we'll go out and we'll find that house for you before it even hits the market. And that way you're not going to have the competition of other realtors and other buyers who are going to be bidding up this house, um, going way above what, what you were hoping to pay for it. So uh, so we just created this, this program to make it a little bit easier. Um, and we have a large list of homes right now that are not on the market um, and just waiting for a buyer to, to write them an offer. Yeah. And this is, I mean, from the marketing perspective with me working on your marketing team here, I love this because it creates what in real estate we call the spread. So uh, what I mean by that, like, you know, of course we want to sell our home while the market is high, but is there really value to that if you're buying while the market's high? And if the market goes down and you buy, the home you're buying would be down in price. That's not the case here with Brian's team. The way this works is you've heard before you make money when you buy. The traditional approach is find a home that's listed on the open market. There's nine or 10 offers. And as Brian said, he's just as frustrated as his clients. We're writing offers. And the only way you will get that house 
is if you're willing to pay more money than any other human is willing to pay. That's a bad way to buy. So Brian says, with our clients, here's what we're going to do. Let's create that feeding frenzy when selling their home. Let's get top dollar, sell for over asking price, let the buyers fight over it. But when we go to buy, tell me what they're looking for. What's their perfect dream home if they could paint it? We'll go out and invest our own marketing dollars to find unlisted homes where the seller says, if you'll give me market value, I'm willing to sell. And I don't have to go through the hassle of open houses and staging and a hundred showings and all of that. So you can sell at a premium, you can buy at market value, giving you that spread. And then third benefit, interest rates are at an all time low, meaning you can lock in a low rate mortgage for you and your family, keeping your monthly payment very low. So it's like the trifecta of timing the market perfectly right here in the Central Valley. And I think you'll find it's incredibly helpful just to get some insight on this. Um, you know, we're actually offering a totally free phone consultation. You'll see the phone number listed below here. Uh, so while you're watching this, grab your phone, give us a quick call. We'd love to speak with you about how you can make this happen for yourself. Now, here's the good part. You don't have to commit to selling your house. As a matter of fact, it might be too early to do that. Um, let's just look around, see what's available casually, no commitment whatsoever. Let's face it, shopping for houses is fun when all the houses match exactly what your family's looking for. Let's look around and see what we can find, then maybe look at selling the property. But there's no cost, no commitment whatsoever. Let us do our job of finding you the perfect house, first of all. So, um, Brian, I know sometimes when you have that phone call with them, you'll also be able to tell them exactly how much their current house is worth. What should they expect on that phone call? So, so when they call us, um, basically, we're going to ask some questions and try to figure out what exactly is their motivation? Why, why are they needing to sell? Is now the best time for them to sell? Um, and then kind of going over their options. And that's what we as, as uh, real estate agents, our, our team is a little bit different in, in the fact that we really like to present multiple options to our clients, analyze the deal and make sure that they're doing the right thing and making the best decision that's, you know, that, that they can make. So that's what we're going to be doing. Just asking a lot of questions and trying to figure out um, what's going to what's going to work best for them. Yeah. And Brian, one thing I love about you is, is this is nowhere near a sales pitch phone call. You very much come from a position of service. You're there to answer their questions and just see, is now the right time? You know, I've always said buying and selling a home is a process, not an event. So we're just starting the process. We're given a little consideration to it because as a homeowner, you really owe it to your family to do some due diligence and see, you know, hey, if the market's this high, we are at a peak. You know, uh, home values do go up, but they go down too. That's what the definition of a peak is. So you want to at least do a little research and see if maybe we can shop around for some houses and find that perfect home for you. So I think you'll find this five, 10 minute phone call incredibly insightful and give you some really good details and direction on what you want to do when it comes to selling your current home and possibly buying a new one. Um, you know, by the way, um, if you're even moving out of the Central Valley area, we work with thousands of agents all around the country that offer that same dream home finder. So um, say you were moving to Texas or Florida or something, we can connect you with someone there that can show you unlisted houses. It all starts with a simple phone call to Brian here to get some details from you, find out what you'd like to do, and we can connect all the dots on your behalf. So I think you'll find it uh, very helpful. Again, phone numbers listed below here. We've helped countless families here throughout the area. We'd love to help your family as well. Uh, Brian, I know you are crazy busy. Thanks for taking a little time with us here today. Yeah, we, we look forward to getting some phone calls and meeting some new people. So, Absolutely. Thanks. That's what we do here. Again, we've helped countless people. Let's add you and your family to the list of okay. the folks that were able to get top dollar for their home, but also find the perfect place to move to. We'll talk to you very soon. Grab your phone, give us a quick call, and we'll talk later. Bye-bye for now.